Pacific leaders are on high alert after U.S. scientists warn that the world is nearing a historic mass coral bleaching brought on by high water temperatures fueled by climate change. However, the president of Palau says the situation isn't hopeless, as corals can be resilient. Voice of America's Jessica Stone reports. Australia's Great Barrier Reef, typically an underwater rainbow of color, now parts of it are a spotted canvas of white. It's called a coral bleach, a symptom of soaring ocean temperatures that can lead to the death of a reef and the species who live there. Marine heat waves are unfortunately increasing in frequency, magnitude, and severity. Um, and this is directly a result of climate change and global warming. The high levels of heat stress mapped in 2023 prompted the United States National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, to update its coral bleaching alert maps. In December, NOAA added three new levels, with level five predicting near-complete mortality for reefs. Marine ecologist Manzello says the world is on the brink of a historic coral mass bleaching event, the fourth in history. Species like tuna, a key food source and top export here in American Samoa. Manzello says he's already helping the U.S. territory monitor the worst hit reefs in their waters. You know, coral reefs provide a lot of protein, in particular for places like the Pacific Islands, where you have communities that are wholly dependent on the fisheries. Palau's president, Surangel Whips Jr., though, says the situation isn't hopeless and that corals can be resilient. Every time we've had a coral bleaching uh, event, some of those species have come back. Uh, and uh, hope, we're just hoping that, that, that this, you know, this event is not too widespread and too destructive. Alan Friedlander, the chief scientist at National Geographic's Pristine Seas Project, says Palau, the Marshall Islands, and parts of Kiribati possess what's called super reefs, corals that recover more quickly from bleaching than other reefs. These quote-unquote super reefs are areas that should be set aside for, for protection because they could be the seed bank for other places that have been impacted. Absent that, they say, it can take between 12 and 15 years for these ecological treasures to return to health. Jessica Stone, VOA News.